Okay, so some folks wanted some more detail on no-till corn. And right there is my sprayer. And I'm gonna go actually no-till in a food plot right now of corn. Kind of a last minute deal. You wanna have this done in the Midwest. I mean, really you could have it done by June 1st. Uh, I would recommend definitely having it done earlier than that, but you know, it's not for, you're not gonna combine it. So if we don't get it in till later, it just won't dry down as, uh, as quickly. And, and there's some other things like it'll be growing when the dry period could be coming on. So there's some reasons to have it done. I shoot by May 15th, but if it's not till June, it's not the end of the world. So there's my sprayer and I can list this stuff out, but all the companies out there like Syngenta, Dow, they all make cocktails of what to spray. But what I have in this sprayer is Gly or Roundup. I have 2,4-D and it's gonna be seven days before I can plant any corn since I'm putting 2,4-D on there. I've got Atrazine, which you can use Simazine, which is not restricted use, and none of these are restricted use if you use Simazine. And I'm running Simazine or Atrazine at about 1.5 quarts to the acre. And then I'm running Mesotrion, which is Callisto. Generic Mesotrion is fantastic. And then I'm running Dual 2 or Warrant, which is Me Too Lacklore. Um, very commonly used. Now all these things, you can find them pre-mixed and they're just more expensive that way. So find a pre-mix and then make sure you burn down real heavily with either Roundup or 2,4-D. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're just doing a little, I think like a five acre corn plot that um, I think we're gonna put an electric fence around. So guys wanted more detail and I'm gonna give you some more detail. There's our sprayer and I'll show you what we're burning up. Fertilizer for corn. <laughs> this is actually P and K we're running and then we're gonna run the nitrogen separate because we're doing a little bit of beans. So what you can tell the co-op is you want treated urea. So treated with nitrine or agritane, probably agritane is what they have. In the, and what you wanna put down per acre for corn roughly, actual N, P, and K down on the soil per acre for a food plot corn, if we're talking conventional, would be roughly 180 to 210 pounds of nitrogen, roughly. I mean, that's high, but uh, roughly that. And so we want to put, just say 200, 200 pounds of N and 60 pounds of P and 60 pounds of K. That'll get it done. If you want to add some zinc, boron, boron um, pelletized lime, stuff like that, you can read your um, read your soil analysis and see what it calls for. But generically speaking, 260-60 is just fine. We're gonna go fertilize this, this is for beans. <laughs> and make sure the urea is treated or it will evaporate. Treated urea. This is 7,000. You got your driver and driven. You can look this up if you're running a 7,000 or any planter. And I would get it right around 25,000 seeds per acre. Those are your no-till cultures. Make sure those are in good shape with your openers. Everything's good. And you want your corn seed right around two, two and a half. Three is still okay. I would shoot for two, two and a half. And you can plant this a million different ways. If you really wanted to drill it, technically you could, just don't overseed it. Um, but this is one example of a no-till planter. And make sure that ground is crispy dead uh, when you do this. And then those coulters will go in real nice. Put that seed in real nice and check your furrows to make sure they're covered. And that seed is two, two and a half inches deep. And again, do not put the seed population too heavy. So 25,000 for a whole plot, that's just my thoughts. And get some kind of no-till. And there's a million ways to do this, but just don't overseed it. Don't put it too shallow or too deep. Make sure the seat's covered up. You're good. Treated urea. Make sure it's treated. This is what we're killing. This is really hard. Not easy to kill. That's why I'm putting a bomb to it. 
and I'm gonna make this two pass. Okay, so we're we're no tilling some corn today for a food plot. And this is old brassica, um, decomposing brassicas. So it's pretty weed free. And then I did do some strips of um, covered crops with some rye and peas and stuff like that. And I killed that off and it's just starting to turn. But I just ran the old 7,000 through there with no-till coulters um, and no-till into brassicas with corn is beautiful so there is really no reason for food plots if you rotate this stuff right uh, or if you ran it into bean ground clearly. No-till corn into brassicas is great and this has got manure and you can see kind of the residue on the soil there. There's manure and then there's decomposing brassicas from last year so I know this is going to turn out fantastic again like it does every year. I've done this for probably 10 years out here and no till it will turn out great. So here is some no till corn. It's going to be a second spraying needed but this is into some rye, peas and some other things. I think there's some clover into this. So this was planted, oh, maybe two weeks ago, maybe three, and looking really good coming up. I, I put this for food plots, remember this, I put about, for food plots, I put about 25,000 seeds per acre. And if your soil quality is really good, you can bump that up, but you know, you can bump things up to 32. I just wouldn't for food plots if moisture is an issue and you're not out there to get your last drop of production and there's some advantages of lowering the seed rate so i would say shoot for around that 25,000 seeds per acre get a good genetic seed and this is what it looks like coming up in about three weeks